Superbooth 2018, checking out the SSS R Labs modules. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, good show so far? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, walk us through the range. Let's have a listen uh, to the patch. Okay, let's try it. Uh, the first model I want to discuss is the uh, most uh, probably popular model of SSR Labs is uh, Kotelnikov Wavetable Oscillator. Uh, by the way, the left model has uh, some uh, custom set of wavetables and the right one has original set of wavetables. And we can try to he hear it now. Um, can somebody hold the microphone? Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, let, let, let me talk uh, for a while about it. It has three main parameters, the pitch, the amplitude, Basically, the volume of the model and uh, and the wavetable index. Let me put off the effects. Um, so it has four banks. Three of them are eight bit. Uh, each contains sixteen wavetables with uh, the Morphin ability. Uh, and the fourth bank uh, is 12 bit and it contains 32 wavetables instead of 16. It has, uh, at the moment, it has no morphine ability, but uh, probably it will be added in the later update. Uh, so, also, it has the sync input, and each of the parameters can be modulated by external signal, uh, so it has uh, CV inputs. Uh, also, it has a so-called transient generator, is the generator of the transient waveform uh, that can be a R envelope or uh, attack decay envelope or LFO. Th this LFO can be retriggered by the external gate. Mm -hmm. uh, and the total range of pitch is 5 octaves and it uh, also can be shifted with the octave switch. Uh, the main feature of this oscillator that it is uh, has variable sampling rates, so uh, its sampling rate change we, uh, um, proportionally to the pitch. Uh, because of that, it has no aliasing, and uh, uh, higher notes have very clear high end. Okay, uh, so let's talk about our uh, recent models. The first of uh, them is the wave shaper, uh, so-called Alisa wave shaper, is the resemblance of a uh, similar uh, mm, model in uh, vintage uh, Soviet synthesizer Alisa 1377. Uh, okay, uh, let me give you the microphone, I will just uh, sh show how it works.
that's for the wave shaper. Maybe you have some questions. Well, uh, people, I should say people should check out my demo with the uh, Katelnikov and the wave shaper. Uh, can you walk us through the uh, matrix, the switch? Okay. Uh, this is the metric switch. It, it is um, basically a bi-directional switch, so it has no traditional inputs or outputs. In instead, it has no any buffering, and they can be connected in any way you want and any direction you want. So it makes it uh, similar to EMS uh, VCS3 matrix, uh, but it is programmable and it's uh, sequenceable. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, we have um, some. Uh, control voltage and gate sources connected to the inputs. It is keyboard, it is uh, two channels of the orbitals um, uh, sequencer, and the uh, output of the Turing machine. On this legion, you actually ca can uh, see what's going on. Um, maybe, maybe you should pause the video. So there are CVs from keyboard, from sequencer, ADC, and uh, uh, at the uh, lettered uh, outputs. In this case, um, you can uh, see the co connected channels of the oscillator, A and B Katelnikov, left Katelnikov, right Katelnikov, and uh, the um, mutable instruments tides. Okay, so on the first program, we can see that keyboard is uh, just connected to the left oscillator, and we can uh, hear it. It can be quite... Uh, Why it's quiet? Ah, okay. It's ju ju just a very high pitched wavetable. Uh, okay, then I can show you how you can connect another one. Now we're playing on two oscillators. Excuse me, the, it may be too loud. And we can disconnect the first oscillator, leaving only the second one. Uh, so uh, let's go to the program number three, we, where we control the output uh, from this sequencer. There is uh, plenty of different programs. Uh, so, uh, what makes it special? Uh, it has um, ability to sequence through the programs. You can choose the desired set of programs, uh, in this case uh, from uh, program 04 to program 11. And you can choose the direction of the sequencer from four, uh, four ways, uh, forward, backward, pendulum and random. Yeah, it, it, it has f f f funny pictures. Um, <coughs> with the external clock source, you can just go through these programs. Aha, uh -huh, somebody... By the way, it, it is uh, clocked from mm, the the same source of clock as uh, for uh, other sequences, but divided vi with uh, another product VC divider. Okay, so is the sequencing. Um, you can uh, easily uh, save the program, you can uh, go uh, out of saving, you can save it to another location. Uh, also, it has an uh, interesting uh, fast recall mode we, where uh, with just pressing a pair of buttons you can change instantly change uh, your program. Uh, and it has a very funny mode uh, that switch on with this combination uh, where it shows you the mm, contents of program uh, 30 programs above the real one. So the real connection is this, but it shows you uh, another picture that can, can be a hint or uh, anybody else. So it's ju just through addition to the existing code. Uh, and finally, it is uh, compatible with a uh, monom uh, teletype model. It, is, um, it has I2C interface. 
uh, and within the, the one um, teletype control system you can have up to three uh, units of Katelnikov. So th th this is the functional of the Matrix Arcade. Great. Well, thanks for walking us through the products. As I said, check out the Wave Shaper, Katelnikov videos already on the channel, and uh, video the Matrix soon. Cheers. Okay.